Welcome to Rama Kids Educational Video. I am back with a new thing of computer. As we have discussed in the previous class about the computers, its basics and the uses of it. So today I am having a new thing to learn. Okay, It is related to the softwares and the hardwares of computers. Alright, so let us learn what is it. Alright, so we have to know what softwares are. So what are softwares? A software is a set of computer program. Okay, a set of computer program is known as software. And it helps to instruct the computers or the computer's hardware to perform its task. Alright, so it basically helps the parts of computer to do its work. Alright, so what softwares are? Softwares are a set of computer programs. Alright, so we should also have to now know about the softwares, how many softwares are there in a computer. Okay, there are so many softwares. First one is window. Okay, what is a window? A window is an operating system of the computer. Okay, the next is Google Chrome. You can see in the picture the window and Google Pro. So, as we have learned that a window is an operating system of the computer. And what is a Google Chrome? A Google Chrome is a computer software that is used to search information on the internet. And it is also known as browser. Alright? The Google Chrome is also known as browser. Now, apart from these two types of software, we have some other types as well. So, what are these? These are the online documentation, the digital media and the other apps inside the computer. Right? These are all softwares. Okay? So what we have learnt about the software? It is a computer program. And it has the softwares like Windows, Google Chrome and many other apps like digital documentation, digital media and other online documentations. Alright, now let us talk about hardware. What are hardwares? The parts of computer is known as hardware. We have learned in the uses of computer, the parts of computer. So, the parts of computer is known as hardware. Alright, so let us learn. Okay, so we have the motherboard. You can see here. What is a motherboard? It is the main circuit board of the computer. Without motherboard, a computer cannot work. Alright, so a motherboard is very important part of computer. Next is the keyboard. Keyboard, what is it? We have learnt already. Let me tell you once again. A keyboard is the most common input device of the computer. It has what? It has alphabets, numbers, special symbols for entering information inside the computer. Next is 
joystick. A joystick what? A joystick is used for playing games on the computer. A joystick is used to play games in the computer. Alright, we all love playing games inside the computer, right? So a joystick is very helpful to do that. Next is integrated circuit. Integrated circuit is also known as IC. IC, alright? It is a small chip that can function as a computer memory. Okay? It is a small chip. It is used as a computer memory. So, these are the hardwares of computer. But, apart from that, we also have other hardwares. Okay? What are this? I am sure you know it. But let me tell you once again, these are the monitor, the mouse, the hard disk device and graphic cards, memory card and so on. So, this is about the software and the hardwares of computer. Next, we have the storage units of computer. Okay. So, what are these? These are compact disk. Compact disk. It is also known as CD. And what is the function of CD or compact disk? It is used to store data of a computer. It is placed within the disk drive of the computer. Next is pen drive. Pen drive is a small sized device that can be used to store and transfer files. It is basically used to store and transfer the files to the computer. So these are the storage units of computer and apart from this we also have other storage units of computer what are these these are the hard disk the ram that means the random access memory which is a volatile memory and floppy disk so i'm sure that you have learned about the computer and the softwares and hardwares as well as the storage units very well. So children, I must say you have learned about the computer, the computer's software and its hardwares. So I am revising it out. So a set of computer program is known as what? It is known as software. And if I will ask you to give two examples of software, what will you say? It is window and Google Chrome. And if I will ask you to give two examples of hardware, what will you say? It is keyboard and integrated circuit. And apart from this, we also have learned so many other types of software and hardware. Alright? So, if I will ask you to define both these parts of computer, what will you say? About software, it is a set of computer program. And about hardware, what will you say? The parts of computer is known as the hardware. Alright? Okay. And about the storage units of computer, if I will ask 
What will you say? This is compact disc. That means the CD, the pen drive, the random access memory or a volatile memory or RAM and the floppy disk. Okay. So these are about the softwares and hardwares as well as the storage units of computer. Alright. So in the next class we will be discussing some new things of computer. But we children, before leaving, I am having a few questions for you and you have to answer me. Alright? So, these are related to the software and hardware only. Okay? So, my first question is, what are softwares? My second question is, what are hardwares? My third question is name two softwares and my fourth question is name two hardwares and I am having a last question for you. Name few storage device of computer or the storage units of the computer. So these are the five questions I have asked and you have to answer me. Alright? In the class. Till then, bye-bye.